Hello. The purpose of this video is to respond to a viewer of my Outlook 2010 form template on YouTube. It's a training video. And he made a comment, he or she, uh, that asked me to post a tutorial video for extracting Outlook attachments automatically to a folder. So that would actually take the attachments that you get on an email in Outlook, and I'm working in Outlook 2010, and it would extract them from that email, either one email or multiple emails, and put them into a folder that you have previously created on your hard drive. So I'm going to create a macro that will do that. Uh, the research that I did online uh, came up with a macro language that I can use for that, and that's at uh, stackoverflow.com slash a slash 15531505, and you'll, I'll show you that on screen in just a moment. And I'm going to take that macro and that I create and put a link to it on my quick access toolbar and you can see the quick access toolbar uh, is below the ribbon I have chosen to uh, display it below the ribbon because it's easier for me so first of all we'll go to the macro language and that is I have saved that in a word file and at the top here you can see where I found uh, the answer to our question. Thank you very much. And the credit goes to uh, the person who displayed it on stackoverflow.com slash a slash 15531505. And you can see the macro language and the name of the, the person who placed it on that website when you access that website. So I'm going to take the macro language, I'm going to copy it, so I'll highlight the macro language and copy it. And then I will go into Developer in Outlook 2010, go into Visual Basic, which is the macro area, insert a module so that I can paste the macro language and then I will simply file excuse me I will just paste it in there and you can see that the macro save attachments has been placed in the macro area and it's saved there so I will get out of the macro area go back into my email area and go to the quick access toolbar and place a link to that macro there. Now you can do that by right clicking on the quick access toolbar and go to customize quick access toolbar. And then under choose commands from you click on that arrow and choose the macro area and you can see Save Attachments is included in that area. So I'm going to highlight that, click on Add, and that will add it to the right panel. Everything on the right side will show up on the Quick Access Toolbar. So now the icon for that macro is not what I really want. I want something that will stand out for me and that I can quickly select that macro. I'll know what macro it is because there's no uh, text on the Quick Access Toolbar. So I'll highlight that macro, go down and press, click on the Modify button, and choose an icon from this area that will stand out to me. Let's choose a folder icon. And then I'll click OK. And you can see that that icon now changes to a folder icon. And that's done, so I'll click OK. 
and now it shows up on the Quick Access Toolbar. So to access that macro, all I have to do is click the button, the icon that I have chosen, on the Quick Access Toolbar, and that macro will run automatically. And what that will do is once you highlight an email or multiple emails, you click on that, it will run the macro, it will extract the attachments, any attachments in those emails, and place them in a folder that you have previously created on your hard drive. And I created a folder called Attachments on my hard drive. Now we're going to test this macro out to see if it works. I'm going to highlight an email with an attachment, and you can see that it has an attachment because there's a little uh, paper clip beside it. But you can see in the email uh, there's a photo attached and there's a message attached. Once I run the ma macro, that photo and that message attachment will be extracted. So it'll be gone from the email and it will be saved to the attachments folder. So I'll highlight that, click on the button that accesses the macro, and you can see that now the attachments have been removed from the email and in the body of the email, I'll double click on that so it'll open, it said that the files were saved to and it tells you exactly where they were saved. They were saved to my documents to the attachments folder. So just to prove that they're there, we'll go to my documents to the attachments folder and see if photo and that untitled message is included there. So here is the attachments folder and you can see that the the two attachments that were on that email that were included in that email are now in the attachments folder on my hard drive. It's as simple as that. You create a macro. You run that macro once you have highlighted the emails and it will save any attachments to the folder that you have previously created on your hard drive.